Okay, this is the um, postfix uh, version of the plus plus and minus minus operators. And uh, basically, they're exactly the same as the prefix version, except that um, this time you get the um, original value of the variable before the um, updated value has been stored into it. That's basically the only difference. Um, and um, it's just the same, really. And if you look at all this stuff about um, first um, uh, one and integer and it's uh, and the value of the variable, and then you do binary numerical promotion and narrow it back again. All that's effectively doing is just adding one to the value that's stored in memory. And because uh, postfix, what you get is um, you get the value before that uh, one's been uh, before the value of memory has been incremented or decremented in the case of minus minus. Okay, so if you take a look at these examples, here's a here's a little example. Um, and we set um, i as an integer equal to zero, and then we're setting i equal to plus plus i. Well, that plus plus i is going to um, increment i, so it'll be one, and it'll return the value, and one will be stored in memory. And then we're adding on i plus plus, so we get the value of one again, and then the uh, value of in memory is incremented to be uh, two, and then we're adding on plus plus i, so we're getting uh, the value of memory incremented, so it now becomes 3 and returned as the um, value of the plus plus i expression. So it's 1 plus 1 plus 3, which is 5. So after all this lot, i gets set to 5. Here's something else. Um, if you try and do that, it's an error. That's because um, whichever way you look at it, uh, plus plus and minus minus are going to expect um, they're going to expect a variable and not a value and uh, plus plus k returns a value so um, in fact uh, the postfix operators are actually got higher priority than prefix so it's interpreted as though there were k plus plus and then minus minus but it doesn't matter because it's an error anyway here's another error same sort of thing really. Um, you can't, uh, that plus plus uh, will immediately trigger an error because it's being applied to a value because that minus minus k returns a value. Well here's something a little bit more complicated. Uh, k equals naught. So what does i equal after this lot? i equals um, minus minus k. So uh, that's k is therefore minus 1 at that point. So We've decremented k there, and then we're subtracting minus minus k again. So it's now minus 2, we're subtracting minus 2, and then we're subtracting, and here we got minus k plus plus, and plus plus has got priority there, so we're incrementing k after the value has been returned. So um, k is now minus 2, and we're negating it. Okay, so we're minus minus two, which is there. And if you work all that out, it comes to minus one, I think. Yeah. Uh, here's something you might see a lot as well. You know, just k plus plus, just by itself as a statement. All that does is increment the value of sin k. It returns the value as well, but I mean that's just thrown away. So you'll see that a lot, and um, things like that. So it's um, really not that difficult.